Here I am at uh, Fraser River, just uh, east of Finslu, and I was intrigued by the collection of uh, logs that piled up here on shore from the tides of the Fraser River coming in from the Pacific Ocean. And so this could be quite difficult to paint because of the foreshortening of the logs as they recede. And the colors are very subtle uh, in, in the way that they uh, reflect the light as well is intriguing to me. The, the highlights on how I'll play on, the, on those logs could be something fun to, to play with. So I'll do some uh, quick little studies here today on uh, smaller boards just to practice some of this color mixing. So I'm looking at all this ahead of time before I paint and I might even mix some of these colors on my palette ahead of time and see if I can sort of match them. The direction of the shadows will change, but at least I'm getting a sense of uh, how much uh, they play on each other. And there's not a lot of shadows because it's midday, but uh, under that tree there could be a nice little support for the white of the logs in front. Pretty much it's a uh, very uh, mid-tone and high key, very bright. So I could start with um, any of these things and it could be even the background. I might want to just push that uh, dark of those trees in the back and uh, place that shape there. might use the darks of the background to support uh, the lights of the foreground. So I'll put the dark background in gently and I'll play on that a bit. There's some gray here. Uh, from that right? and then maybe get the sky in here a little bit. Put a brighter tree here. There's a little bit of a light on that tree there. And some warms here. bush in here. There's that bush and then just get this sort of gray background here. Okay, so then there's some grass here. So while I have the green I'm transferring it just a little bit where I see it peeking through the logs and I can always paint over that. and uh, get some bushes here. Might as well put the sky in while I'm here. It's a really bright day. It's really light. Just fill that in. One big swoop. Just saw a little highlight here on those grasses here. And I'm putting some sh sh forms underneath them. And let's get some. Yeah, they're quite nicely lit up, but they're gray. There's a big log back there. I'm going to get that in a warmish gray color that log there. And then as they come forward they have different tones. So I see this one is a little bit of a darker log. This one has a nice purple tone to it. So let's add it that. And you can really nail a lot of this with one brush stroke and just vary the color tone. Some of them get warmer as they come closer. There's a nice orange log here.
nice colors that start to reflect off the logs. There's a bit of a shadow to form them. And it's really a bunch of lines or cylinders piled up on each other. And it's hard to get the little knobs, but that might be fun to play on the little knobs on some of them, like that. And then get dark over there underneath. And then this is a funny gray color, so I'm just gonna fill that in. I see a bit of pink on this log, so I'm gonna glaze a little bit of pink over that. And then this shadow here too. There's a big log here with a lovely orange. And then there's another really dark one here. Some of the logs are a little more bluish in color, so I'm gonna get that playing on here. And I like to keep this light. I just uh, feel it would be a nice horizon line here to this nice warm color. I'll just play on that gently. I have this light and that really dark. I can push that dark a little more. I'll get a tree in here. There. And now, what color is this ground? It's sort of a brown color. It's got some pink in it. Well, let's just do another log this color. I see a little log like that. But most of it is a mixture of lots of little colors. Okay, so there's a brown base here. So I'm coming under, coming around with this ground color. It's quite difficult to tell what color it is. It's almost purple at times. And I guess I get a now there's a I'm not sure if I should include that big structure, but just make one more stronger log there. And maybe get some more of this grass right here. There's some nice little flowers in the distance. I just might as well suggest them with a little dot. Doesn't hurt, little lupins or something there. I like that. Maybe they're here too, a little bit. And get some more 
form underneath these logs. More darks. Okay, there's a nice big black dark on a log here. So I'm gonna, I am gonna include that. It's kind of an interesting log. I think it needs a nice ochre color just to stand it out a bit. And but it actually has a blue, nice little blue shadow here at the edge. So I'm, I'm exaggerating that. You can always push that. And then this log is over top. And get another. That's the whitest part is that log, the tip of this log that's coming over. There's a little highlight there like that. So maybe we'll bring the focal point right here and we'll pile these logs back here into the distance and get some nice play. I need a smaller brush. It's a small painting. Forgot how all you need is just a little suggestion of things. So if I squint, I can tell that it is lighter here and a little darker there. But I'd like to keep it bright and happy. So let's see what kind of... So there's some grasses here. Carry some of this over. Gray it down a bit. And, uh, you know, I don't want to overdo it, so let's just keep it simple. Suggest some grass coming in here. A little stronger contrast there to bring your eye. And just finish it off with grass. There. So your eye moves through the painting back and forth and I like that play on that. Just strengthen this solid mid-ground and let's punch up this sunlit log here. You want to add texture that'll that'll bring your eye there and uh, I didn't include the other big log, but I kind of like what it did here. There's a lot, of, a lot of little logs playing out, being lit up by the sun here today. So I'll just bring those in. So yeah, just putting the last little bits of highlights on, remembering the lovely bright day here and putting some colorful notes, little happy notes. And it's a, like a nice little song to play out uh, here on this sunny day.